Hey guys, I know this is like a completely different intro to all of my videos, like completely different. Uh, but in today's video, I'm going to be showing with you how I set up my whole setup. So this is the only portion I particularly chose to sit here to show you guys that this uh, sort of this is how the end result looks like and this is what you guys see on the screen but there are so many things behind the screen that you guys don't see and i wanted to share my a uh, complete setup with you guys uh, a lot of it i figured out over the course of time um some youtube tutorials some diy's some how to's all those things definitely helped a lot um if any of you are like beginning with youtube or you are just curious about how i set up my whole system then um, I, I hope this video is helpful or if you're just curious like how I set it all up I'm gonna show you guys I actually I'm gonna sit down to film a video that's why I'm still in my in this uh, you know um, yeah so this is what the end result actually looks like but I will show you guys how I completely set up like every little thing and I'll try to find links and put it in the description box below so let's get started Okay, I'm just going to give you first an overview. I'm filming this on my iPad. I don't know if I said that already. So this is what my complete setup looks like. That's where the camera is, the view, um, my viewfinder. This is really I hate filming with this, but I love the quality of this. Okay, so here's my camera my light that's like my bathroom and hula hoop stuff ignore it my room is extremely dirty but that's not the subject at hand so my camera my tripod my light that's the only like extra artificial light that i use apart from tube lights uh, my viewfinder my table and this is where i sit and these are my lights okay let's start with these lights um i bought these lights at a local um electronic shop nearby nothing special about them i just wanted these white lights like um i didn't want the colored lights or the yellow lights because yellow lights will make your whole screen look warmer than it needs to be this white light is like neutral so it will not add any color to your actual uh, video or your footage that's why i chose these lights they are not like properly focused like if you focus elsewhere i don't know how to show this that's what i wanted them to look like and let's focus them back up okay i think this is much better so these are just plain white lights uh, i chose white in particular like i said because i didn't want any colors to be added into my uh, video footage and if i use just colored lights like the red green and all those ones those will add, again add colors and it's really difficult to get the color correction right and that is why i chose this white lights in the background i've just kept some random stuff you can see like a jewelry box like some like random stuff i didn't want it to be empty plus it's a nice way to keep all the things and that victoria's secret bag i really like that bag it's not a bag it's basically like a cover that they give at victoria's secret so I really like it and i have some stuff inside so i just keep it there and i have connected the fairy lights i'm sorry it's a little shaky so this is like the box wherein you can adjust and it's really dirty you guys i'm so sorry so this is the box that is used to adjust my fairy lights and i have connected here to an extension cord so this extension cord is that red color line that you see that is connected there also also that extension cord can also charge my laptop if my laptop is dying down i will get to it why i'm using a laptop as well so that is basically my background nothing more than that very simple i really love these fairy lights even without filming i sometimes just switch on these fairy lights and sit i'm obsessed with fairy lights okay now for the important bit which is the camera stuff so my uh, camera body is the nikon uh, d5200 and the lens is actually a telephoto lens by tamron and um you can really zoom in for like these eye looks and all that that's why i really like it originally i used the body lens and that was working fine as well so i bought this because i wanted a dslr anyway and um this uh, i'm not sure how much this was but i will try to find links for each of this i'm not sure if this is available because i think they've discontinued it if i'm not sure and then coming to this this is my only other artificial lighting system which is a set of led cells i got this on amazon for like thousand rupees or something it also has a warm filter uh, thingy but i don't use it i just like it as it is and it's really 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 bright so i use this setup i'm not going to switch it on because if i switch it on you guys will not see anything so what i do is i actually switch it on 
and then I put like this plastic cover over it like so. Let me show you this. Somewhat like that but in a better way. Yes, that looks like a ghost. So I put a white cover or white towel or anything white that is translucent over it because that will act as a diffuser since the actual light is very 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 bright. It will blind me and it will overexpose my video which I do not want. That's why I put a plastic cover like this, a white color, particularly white colored cover so that it diffuses my light. And then I have actually used the USB cable and I've connected it to my laptop wherein I use my laptop as my viewfinder. I will talk about it in a minute. Before that, the lights. Apart from that one light that I use, there's a tube light to the right side and there's also a, another like bulb light here. So those are the only other like lighting equipments that I use. And as for the mic, that iron box is actually like my mirror stand okay so i use this mic i'm not sure if this is available this is a lapel mic and it's a mono um, audio mic which means you can hear um, audio only on one side so you'll have to do some editing when you are um, on the system when you're trying to export the video you'll have to adjust the settings to get it into studio which is pretty simple by the way so use this mic but i'll i'm not sure i don't think this is available but i'll try to find something similar and I'll uh, put a link to this in the description box below. Alright. Alright, so basically this is what my setup looks like when I am sitting in front of the background. Now let's talk about why I use uh, this uh, laptop. Basically any laptop or anything which has an output will work. Let me zoom in just a touch. So I have used the USB um, cable from the camera and I have attached that I have just basically connected the laptop and the camera through a USB that's pretty much it and I also use a wireless mouse you guys can't see okay so I use a wireless mouse and I keep it close to me so that it's really easy to you know um, basically this uh, laptop is the viewfinder and this remote uh, sorry this um, oh, what's the name mouse is like my um, remote for the camera so basically um, if you guys can if you guys can see there that is an uh, software not an app sorry it's a software called digicam controller which when i double click will open up um i tried so many i tried finding out so many softwares for nikon cameras in particular for canon there are so many softwares available but for canon um there is pretty much sorry for nikon there's pretty much one or two and this digicam controller is the one that i've been using for i think two plus years it's a free software this is not sponsored by the way uh, it's a free software and you get a lot of updates as well it's actually really good and really effective if you are someone like me who uh, films edits and does the whole production stuff on uh, your own then this is really helpful so this is what the layout looks like and if you look here at the top there's something called live feed so if i click on that my screen will become my monitor and whatever the camera is picking up will be seen on the screen apart from that you also have some you know options here so your printer then you have connect with the slr uh, this is if you have a Wi-Fi type uh, cameras, if Wi-Fi is built in, then you can use this. Then you have multiple camera control. Oh, wow, I didn't know this was available. And then you have um, astronomy, and then you have browse sections, and then you have full screen, and then you have this time, time lapse. Oh, wow, I didn't know all this is available. And here, if you come to the bottom, there's something called battery, which will show you the indication of the amount of battery present in your camera, which is definitely really helpful. And then if you come here, you have the option of save to PC and camera, just PC or just camera. So if uh, if you're using your laptop to edit videos, you can directly film into your laptop. So that's an option. And here at the right side, you have this thing called session. And uh, it's, it's like basically where the path is. So I'll just, uh, you know, uh, open the stuff and I'll, I'll be back just a minute. Okay, I guess now we'll have a better view, so that's really blinding. And then, uh, so this is what it will look like. Once I've switched on my camera, it will be connected. And then if I go to the live feed right here, you guys will see me now. Hey guys! Okay, so here we have options for autofocus, capture, record and preview. So if you just do autofocus, so basically there. 
that's uh, how it is focused and then here you have the option called record video which obviously will record the video and then you have something called capture if you want to take still shots of your makeup or whatever thumbnail whatever pictures you want to take you can use preview here and then if you come down you have some controls here so basically you have auto focus you have capture delay which means if you give like maybe if you give let's say you give three which means it will give you a three second delay before you take the picture and then here something called capture count so given three which means it will take three pictures in the span of three seconds so up there's capture delay is the amount of time it's basically a timer and capture count is like your burst mode uh, so the delay time between every count is available and then you have your ISO, your shutter speed, aperture, white balance, every um, feature and functionality available on your camera will be available here and whatever you set on your camera will be seen here. So whatever you adjust on this software will apply on to the camera. I don't know how that works by the way but still it does. And then you have display, overlay, focus, motion detection which I often do not use because um, it takes up a lot of my battery and then snapshot and there are so many features here or if you want this this is like full screen so you can use this which i don't want now you can pause a uh, freeze image and then you have so many things here uh, you can zoom in you can zoom out you can like put those square boxes if you want you can do all those things so this is what it will look like so you will get an accurate view of how your things will look like uh, on the screen basically so this is like your end result and how it will look so this is like my one tip that really helps me a lot when i'm filming okay so uh, i hope that video was uh, useful and helpful and if you guys have any questions or queries do let me know in the comments down below i am planning to do um, like a youtube series wherein i share all youtube like behind the scenes sort of stuff so hope you guys are interested and if you have any questions let me know down below i hope the video quality was a little sturdy um anyway thank you so much for watching please like share comment subscribe and all the jazz and i will see you in my next one